Should you start a blog in the golfing niche, right? That's the question I'm gonna answer in today's video. Hi, my name is Shane with ShaneDetgood.com. I help people build successful blogs through SEO and affiliate marketing. Um, in this video, I really wanted to talk about the golfing niche, right? Is it a good niche to get into? Uh, you know, is there a lot of traffic to go after? If you build it, is there actually ways to monetize that traffic? You know, what's the full potential of a golfing blog? And if I was gonna start one, how would I do it? All unpacked in this video, right? Um, so that's what I want to talk about in today's video. And quickly, um, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I do these videos. Um, recently, I actually built a tool um, to help me unpack the uh, the good and bad niches that exist out there. Um, I Essentially, what you're looking at is a tool that combines uh, data from Ahrefs, SEMrush, and a couple other sources to uh, create a map of all of the uh, sites that are affiliate sites, right? It's really cool. And it's something I've been working on for a while and I'm, I'm happy to share it. And I'm gonna use it in this video. If you want access to this tool to do your own niche research, uh, I am going to be launching uh, or opening enrollment for my blog accelerator program, which right now is closed, but you will get access to this tool in that program. So just gonna talk about golfing real quick. Um, and we can always talk about this tool in another video, but basically uh, I just wanted to kind of skim down to the golfing niche. Actually, I'll just do the filter here. So we'll just, do that, and basically, um, as a part of the data I've gathered, I've identified 120 domains that are in the golfing niche. So if I click here, I can actually see all the golfing niche uh, uh, websites that are in this niche, right? Now I'm just gonna first, uh, I'm gonna first filter or sort by difficulty, and what this is, it's a measure of how uh, small, or basically how it's difficulty is kind of a misnomer. I, I'm still kind of playing around if I actually like that label, but basically it's telling me what's the opportunity the higher the better, right? So you can see here Precision Golf Swing is a small website um, that has 1,000 uh, keywords, 962 traffic, DR of 0.5, so very small, and it only it has 68 registered pages on its site, right? So if I were to actually take this and go into Ahrefs, you can see that it is a very small site generating uh, a bit of traffic here, right? So DR of three, 973, and it's, you know, they're making money, right? So this is a good example of somewhere where I might start. And why I'm also doing that, I'm gonna open up Keywords Explorer to uh, just kind of type in a couple, not gold. I'm gonna type in a couple words here just to see best for golf. Just to get a sense of how many keywords there are. So 10,000, that's pretty good. Um, lots of green here, that's always a good sign. And you can see here that, uh, go back to my tool, there's quite a few domains that are you know, generating, you know, 65,000 uh, with a DR of 53. Eh, I got 7,000 DR of 9, 1,500 DR of 1, 45,000 DR of 30. These are these are good signs here. So if we actually go to golfspan.com, we can see what kind of site we're dealing with here. So yeah, obviously an affiliate site. Um, and you can see that it's not even, I would argue, not even a, a quality affiliate site, right? It's, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not amazing. Um, I don't like these grainy images. So this is a really good signal that there's a lot of opportunity here. And the fact that there's 120 um, in my database here, that's a really good signal too, that there's a lot of people playing in the golfing niche. If we were to go back, you know, we can actually skim through this and just get a sense of, you know, we got, some of these are huge niches like gaming, kitchen, obviously there's plenty of domains, but like, um, you know, automotive is 172. So it, it's almost as big as the automotive niche, according to my data here, um, in terms of, in terms of at least the players that are playing, right? So it's a good signal that there's there's money to be made here and an opportunity. So I really like that. Um, and I'm going back to my Keywords Explorer and I'm seeing you know a ton of different opportunities here. DR of three, let's actually see that. This is probably, I would argue this is probably gonna be way more competitive if I look at it. Yeah, we got way small DRs in here. Best golf balls for beginners. Yeah, I mean, this is really, I mean, this is a really, if you saw my video about dense SERPs, this is a pretty dense SERP, um, although these are, these are low DRs. So if you have a high DR golf site or, or some kind of sporting site, I, I'm fairly certain you can probably outrank these people fast. Um, golf pros, let's see, is golf pros in my, in my database? Let's see. So if I go back to golf, double click, they should be in here. Let's see, search, and there they are, yeah. So 357, yeah, they're doing well for DR4, um, 1400 in traffic, um, and they're ranking for some lowly competitive terms. So yeah, this is a really good signal that it's fairly easy to rank in this term. I mean, they only have 43 uh, linking root domains. So this is pretty much a wide open, it looks like this niche is fairly easy to enter. 
Um, in terms of actually opportunity here, let's see uh, best golf clubs for readers. Actually, I want to see some big domains. So let's actually unfilter this. Get rid of this. I'll just go back to the big one. So let's actually see the biggest. I want to see the biggest site. So golf.com. I don't know if they're an affiliate. I mean, they, I, I think they have affiliate links. That's why they got included here, but I wouldn't include them. I'm looking for like a straight up affiliate site. Let's see here. And let's all CC my golf spy. So my golf spy, definitely an affiliate site. You can see best drivers, deeper look. Yeah, I mean, these are both affiliate sites. These are pretty big too. So that's a good signal that there's big money to be made here. Um, although they have a ton of pages, that might be a glitch to check my data. But basically, they're big sites. Like if we go into Ahrefs and check how many pages it took for them to build this site. Let's see, if we go to top pages, 9,000 pages. So yeah, I mean, that's a big site. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of pages that they went into. That's why my numbers look kind of big. Um, but basically, what I'm looking at here is that there's a, there's a lot of room to grow, even in the golf niche. I'm actually curious what, is it all just golf? If I exclude the word golf, how, much, how many keywords are left? I'm just curious. Half, so a golf spy. And then I'll also do, yeah, I mean, we got blade putters. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity outside of the, the, the seed uh, golf. So that's a good signal. Um, I'm seeing a lot of good things so far, and I'm actually gonna go to Offer Vault and just type in golf. And I'm also gonna go to, let's just see what's in here. This is golf. This is a car. Um, that's not helpful. Let's go to. I want to go to. Let's go to um, impact. Actually, you can see what other people are playing in the golf niche. So we go over here. Actually, let's go back. Let's go to brands. Let's do golf. Let's see if it's a category. It's not, but we can do this. Alton Edmonds. So we got Fairway and Green. That's interesting. And what I'm also going to do is just check the competitors to see what they are doing in terms of monetization um, outside of just Amazon. So let's see. I mean, I'm just going to kind of click into some of these and just see if they're promoting anything other than Amazon. So that's their own article. This just looks like. Funny enough, I don't even see any links in here at all. <laughs> um, actually, it looks like they might have gotten a sponsored post. So Cleveland, RTX zip core, and you finish takeaways. This looks like maybe a sponsored post by Cleveland because um, these guys are really big. So that's something to take note of, that brands are willing to work with smaller publishers. MGS, interesting. So like Callaway pre-owned, Callaway Golf pre-owned. There we go. So you can see here's an affiliate link. Let's see this. This looks like it's working for them. Affiliate. There you go. Callaway Golf affiliates. Six percent. So there's one. There's one. Great commission. And those things are super duper expensive. Partnerize. There you go. And this looks like a whole, a whole entire like uh, thing. So next thing I might do is I might actually stick my golf spy into a site like Screaming Frog just to scrape it and see how many links because this is going to ANR Dozers, which is an affiliate link. Um, and what I might do is just stick them in here and just see what, yeah, see you got, we already have this. I wanna see where this is getting linked from. So far it's on the home page. And you can see Click Synergy, Rock Bottom Golf Drivers, that's on the home page. So what I'm looking for here is other places on the site that this link exists and this would show up in the in links box. That's basically in, internal links, other links on the page that are going out to that, right? This is an external link. Um, and I'd be looking for other pages that have this on it. So I don't see anymore. Um, yeah, we're at 12%. It's a fairly big site, so this might take a minute. So we'll like, come back to this. Um, but let's go back to golf span. This is clearly all Amazon. Let's just see real quick. 
Golf courses, interesting. So they're doing golf courses. I wonder if they're doing lead gen for them. Doesn't look like it. I wonder how they're making money from this. I have ads blocked. Let's see if they're running ads. Da, 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 da. There's not even ads on this page. I don't know how they're making money from this. I guess they just don't care. <laughs> um, let's see this one here. I assume this is Amazon. Let's see. Wow, there's nothing in here. Very strange. I don't see any Amazon links. Very under-monetized. I don't know why they're doing that. Let's go golf sunglasses. Here we go. Here's Amazon. That's so strange. Um, how under-monetized those other best golfers in Arizona. Maybe they have desert terrain. Maybe they have a plan. The Grint. They're going to monetize with. I don't necessarily see this golf course in Arizona. I wonder if there's Legion. Legion golf. I doubt it. D golf span. Yeah, they're big. I don't know. They're definitely growing like crazy. It's funny that they um that they're under monetizing their site. I don't know what they're doing with this. Okay, I think I see what it is. So the Grint here is 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 probably sponsoring this article. So that's why that's the link in here. So that's interesting. So if we actually go to this, the Grint. Yeah, yeah, that's what it probably is. I wonder if the Grint owns this site um, or maybe purchased it. I don't know. Hard to say. Once we let Screaming Frog do its thing. What? Oh my God, there's so many links. I don't think we're ever going to get this thing scraped. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see AN. Let's see Callaway. So you can see here all these IDs. Let's see what page is. So 2019 most hybrid. If we go to this page, we can actually see. Yeah, you see this? This is exactly what they're doing. So they got some Amazon. They got the most wanted. So that's interesting. Global Golf is a partner they have. They set up. So that's a good signal. Let's see Global Golf. Global Golf Affiliate. Yeah, here it is right here. What's their program look like? Apparently, why join? Placement of those banner ads, your website. And you get paid three marketing ads. That's good. Um, that's always good when they actually mark, they remarket to the, the people you send. And that's a really good signal. It doesn't say what their earn up to 8%. Okay, there you go. So if we click that. Link connector. That's the program they're using. So there you go. I mean, this is a really good sign. There's a lot of monetization being done here, and I'm really enjoying. This. That's really good signal. Um, you can see that there's small websites making money, big websites making money, tons of affiliate programs. It looks like obviously Amazon, but there's really established uh, affiliate programs that other people are using, and it looks like they're working. Um, so I might do global golf. Let's see how many times global. I want to see how many times they're referring to them. So you can see there's a, there's quite a few. And then if we look, if we filter this in links, we can actually see, oh, look at that. 22 scenarios. Um, let's open that up. Curious. Yeah. There's an affiliate link right there. I mean, clearly this is what's working for them and it, it seems to be a strong uh, affiliate partner for them. So that's a good signal. So what does it mean to build a, a blog about golf? Well, this is it. <laughs> um, basically creating content around um, drivers, all the different things. I mean, this is, it's fairly straightforward. They even have a forum, which is really interesting. That's pretty cool. And it's fairly active. That's awesome. So you can see they're, they're at a certain scale where they're really grown. They've really gotten really big. Golf span is a really good example of something you can probably build in a year um, with a, you know, uh, really kind of focusing. Um, and you can see how they built their site, clubs, this is how they silo things off, clubs, bags, training aids, accessories, golf terms, like the definition. Ooh, this is interesting. So did this, did that, did this. Just see what it does. 
No value. Uh, use. There you go. Uh, interesting. That was weird. It's some kind of right steal and used. Add for price. Get price. What happens? Interesting. Very clever. I like that. That's pretty cool. That's that's not a traditional affiliate. That's always a good sign when it's not just traditional affiliate sales. It's like a trade-in. That's very interesting. I don't see that in a lot of niches. So yeah, if you're considering the golf niche, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, you know, I'm looking at these keywords. I see again relatively small sites doing well. Let's check their backlink profile. I'm just curious how they're building links to these blogs. We got Wikipedia. I don't know why they built that link. Sammy Bird, is that a golfer? It's a baseball player. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure about that one. Venture Beat. That's interesting. Crunch Base. That's interesting. Looks like they built some interesting. I mean, these aren't super relevant links. A golf blog, that's a good one. Interesting. I mean, they have a pretty decent backlink profile. If we do one link per domain, um, they got golf specific stuff. Let me scroll through. It looks like they did a redirect as well. Mexgolf.org. They did a and they did another do, double bogey. Double double bogey. Double bogey. Looks like they did that as well. And another one here. Travel index. That's interesting. These, these guys are up to interesting stuff. I, they're definitely sophisticated blog owners. Like they know what they're doing, um, and it seems like you know they're they're getting they're making some money here with with this golf blog. I really like it. I mean, I think it's a solid blog. Let's see who else is playing in this niche. I'm just gonna go through a couple more. Let's go back to difficulty. So we got golf bag advisor. So you can do micro niche sites. Like these are just super. I would never recommend anybody build something like this. Like this is something like golf bag advisor, <laughs> you know, like it just looks like crap. I would definitely stay away from a site like this. If anything, if you're building a golf site, use, you know, just grab all their keywords and just knock them off and just make their, make your content better. Um, but yeah, I really like the golf niche. I mean, let's just go back and, and round this out. Um, is there traffic in the golf niche? Yes. There's plenty of traffic. We've, we've seen that from a couple of big sites that are doing well. Um, lots of keywords to go after um, and very expensive things. Golf clubs tend to be very expensive. So you can expect, and you, you just saw like 4% to 8% um, sales commission on, on that stuff. So that's really great. And it probably is a little seasonal. You can, you can check Google Trends. It's probably trends towards the summer months, I'd imagine. So if we just do, you know, golf, I'll just type golf and just do past five years, let's see. Yeah, so it definitely trends in the in the summer. So you're looking at a seasonal niche, which is not terrible. I mean, it's just it's just it is what it is. I mean, even in the off months, it's not terrible. Um, and if you compare it to something like pest control, just to get a sense, golf crushes pest control. So um, that's a good signal. I mean, that's you know, it seems like golf has, has got more more search volume to get than pest control. So that's a good signal too. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I like this niche. If you're considering golf, I think it's got my stamp of approval. Um, what's the full potential for a fully built out golf blog? You just seen it. I, I would argue, you know, if we're looking at, it's a hard one to kind of gauge, but if, if we're looking at golf span, you know, if we look at, go to their tap pages. And you actually, what I'll do is I'm going to go to similar web and just kind of see if they have, I just want to see some more web. Let's see what we got. So yeah, if they're doing 250K, that's pretty good. So we'll assume 250 times RPV, which is uh, revenue per visitor, which is about um, a good estimate. I would argue maybe it's probably closer to four. So figure they're probably doing around 10,000 revenue per month for their for this golf blog, I would argue. Um, it's funny they don't have any display ads or very few, so maybe maybe a little bit less or more. So I would say it's about $10,000 per month uh, opportunity. And then you're probably looking at the upper echelon 
you know, I would say between 10 and maybe 30 on the higher end. Um, if you did start, you started to do sponsorships and stuff like that, you could probably, you could probably do some incremental stuff and, uh, and really, you know, build, it seems like brands are willing to work with, with blogs like this. That's a really good signal. If that's something you're interested in do it, I tend not to recommend that just cause it can be really not, it takes a lot of work. So if that's not really what you want to do with your blog, then, you know, then you can you just not do that. Just not respond to those requests or you can, cause you've just seen golf span a couple, a couple of examples or, uh, you know, these guys, you know, golf spot spy are clearly working with people and, and that's really, it seems to be working with them. Like obviously right up here, advertise, there you go. So 8 million golfers every year, boom. Um, so there you go. Anyway, um, if you have any questions about this, if you're curious about anything, let me know. Um, obviously if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to hit a like, uh, hit like, hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me, uh, saves me, helps me keep motivated to continue creating more content. I really like the golf niche. If you're considering it, definitely, um, Definitely do it. Um, I I really like it. Anyway, again, my name is Shane with ShaneDecca.com, and I will see you in the next video.